Hi, I'm Pamela Dalek. And Ryan Lachlan. And we are here at the Basset Hound Olympics. That's right, Tri State Basset Hound is a rescue. And they also participate in the Doodah Parade, which is more famous, but the event right before is this one. And it's an Olympics featuring slow, lumbering, long eared hounds. Yes, yes. These dogs, I, when you think of Basset Hound, athleticism is not the first word that you think of. I mean, speed, not so much. Agility, I don't think so. Jumping ability, height, none of these right. things. And yet, one of these dogs today is going to bottle out a winner. As far as the Olympics today, what what can we expect? You can expect the high jump. Um, <laughs> not very high. <laughs> um, an obstacle course and a couple other events, and it's it's just a great time to bring your normally lazy basset out and, and do a little have a little activity. We tried to interview several basset competitors, but most were aloof or standoffish at best. What you got there, Boxster? Can we interview you? Ziggy, I understand you're going to be in the Olympics. Now, did you carb up last night? Ziggy? <laughs> Ziggy? What did you do to train for this? Excuse me, Ziggy. This is a very exciting weekend for you, buddy. How do you feel about that? <laughs> All right, so we're still here. They're, they're on the first round of competition, and not surprisingly, the competition itself is as long, extended, and lumbering as the hounds are. So uh, we're just gonna be here until it's over, I guess. Come on, Ellie, you got this, girl! 